This is our 1952 Oldsmobile 98 Deluxe. It is truly one of the finest motor cars I have ever owned. Uh, it has traveled 12,000 original, fully documented miles from new, and we'll get to that in, mo in a moment. It's finished in rare shoal green over swan white with a deluxe two-tone green interior which has never ever been exposed to the elements. It's been covered by the dealer installed Argyle seat covers from new. Uh, the car had sat up for a time and uh, was then fully restored and to date there's over $69,000 invested in it and when the restoration took place it wasn't a question of how much it was just how good. Uh, it is equipped with the hydromatic transmission which is a three-speed automatic with drive super and low. Um, it has the rarest of the rare automatic watch built into the steering uh, horn column, uh, a factory compass, the deluxe push button AM radio, and every feature and function in the car, as you might expect, is fully operational. It comes with a full set of uh, instrumentation for temperature, fuel, amps, and oil, and all of that is fully functional. It even has the emergency brake flasher, which was an option, and that is fully functional, as we'll see in a moment. It flashes whenever it is engaged. The deluxe radio, incidentally, does have the optional rear speaker. The interior is largely all original and to find one with the original factory documented or dealer documented Argyle seat covers uh, which have been on the car since 1952 is very very unusual so the the original seating has never ever been exposed or or sat on you can see the colors of the interior by the two-tone door panel the 98 was the top of the line for Oldsmobile in 1952. During the restoration, uh, it was an open checkbook restoration with not a question of how much, but only how good. Uh, the, uh, uh, all of the, every piece of bright work was removed, uh, the chrome, the stainless, the pot metal, and it was all professionally restored. Uh, as you can see, the door jams were completely finished as well. All new rubber moldings uh, were installed because the originals were, uh, were almost 70 years old and were very dry. The restoration has uh, garnered both an AACA Junior and National, again which is fully documented. We're now into the rear cabin. Um, one of the nice 
One of the many nice features of the car are front and rear vent windows, which was kind of like factory air back then. So if you open both of those, you get a very comfortable free flowing breeze flowing through the entire car. There is a center armrest in there. Uh, front and rear cigar lighters, which are unused. Please examine the door panels, the headliner, uh, the dash. It is truly the best of the best. Okay. We have a complete portfolio uh, of the uh, of the automobile. It's biography going back to new. We have the original Oldsmobile dealer sales literature, the original owner manual, the original owner service policy, the original uh, hydromatic overview. Uh, we have uh, door jams confirming mileage with the receipts. We have a handwritten overview of owner history along with documented mileage back to new. Uh, we have the uh, various Ohio uh, original uh, sales tax overviews of the car and here we have a news, news article of when the car was sold as part of Mr. Elliott's estate by his executor and son, uh, William Elliott, indicating the farm and the implements and the 52 Olds 98 is being included. Options include the full disc wheel covers with the crested uh, Oldsmobile uh, centerpiece, uh, wide white wall tires, which are not the originals. Those are the Coker classics, but are the correct width uh, white wall. Uh, it has the backup lamps, uh, the front and rear fender guards, chrome exhaust deflector, and the beautiful Oldsmobile crest or medallion on the trunk. This is the, uh, the trunk area with the original unused spare, unused jack and tire arm. Um, I believe this material and the trunk is, uh, is completely original um, and is an absolutely beautiful, like new condition. And as you can see, the rubber molding around the trunk has all been replaced. The fender welting during the restoration is fresh, which confirms that during the restoration, the fenders were removed. Here we have the uh, the original Oldsmobile Rocket uh, V8 engine, which back in the early 50s was used uh, very effectively uh, on the racetracks. Uh, it's 303 cubic inch displacement with 165, 160 horsepower with a 77.5 to one compression ratio. Uh, what's unusual is that even back in 1952, it had the uh, four barrel Rochester carburation for performance purposes. All of the components in the uh, engine compartment are all original and including the six volt battery cover. Uh, the engine compartment is show quality. Uh, the engine runs whisper soft, can be driven effortlessly at 
at highway speeds and you could balance a quarter on the hood of the car whenever it is running and it runs nice and cold even in the warmest of temperatures. Would you start it up? Sure. This car is so smooth. Unbelievably quiet. I used to talk about how an engine would purr. Uh, the choke is closed on it, so it is idling at higher RPM, but when it warms up, uh, the engine RPM will drop down. It even has the original glass windshield washer in the car. The windshield washer is along with every other function. Fully functional. There is even an under the hood truck. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth. And no seatbelts in this one. The Not other in, car needs mm -hmm. a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it almost feels weird now, doesn't it? Yes. That you don't even use it. And drive, brake release. Are you in drive or super? I think I'm in drive. That would be super, I think. Okay. And that, is that low gear? Yeah. And then reverse. Okay. The first drop down is the drive. This is too, but in a different way. Yes. You just learn how to do it this way. And like the brakes. I mean, 